Hello my friends, this is a 45 minute creative yoga flow focused on hands behind our heads. You'll see a lot of shoulder opening and dynamic twisting. Let's get started. Make your way down to your back, feet as wide as your mat. Release your arms long beside you, palms facing to the ceiling, or you can ground with one hand to your heart, one hand onto your belly, and then allow your eyes to fall closed. Right here, take a moment to do a body scan. So just observe how your body is landing on your mat. Notice what feels good in your body, what maybe feels a little tight, a little tense. Can you send your breath there? Can you invite in a little more ease? Soften your head, your neck, your shoulders. Relax your arms, your legs, your hands and your feet. Notice how your breath is moving through your body. Simply observe your chest and your belly rise and fall with every inhale and every exhale. Take a big inhale to fill up. And big exhale out, let it go. And breathe in. Breathe out. And one more big breath in. Big sigh out. Allow your breathing to return back to a natural breath. Notice if you can soften a little bit more. So I came across this quote recently that said, life will sometimes make us think that we need to be doing something else, traveling something else, being something else. But if we think that happiness is somewhere else, it will never be exactly where we are. That really resonated with me because while it's amazing to have goals and chase after that next big thing, when we think that we don't have that in the present moment, we're operating from a place of lack, from a place of resistance, right? Saying I'm not enough unless I have this. We see it a lot in our yoga practice too, right? Well, I'll be good at yoga once I can get handstands, once I'm more flexible. But what are we looking to cultivate? How can we cultivate that right now, in this moment, in the here and now? Well, of course, we still want to have things we're working towards. How can we make the most of where we are? So if saying we'll feel some way in the future, how can we invite that in right now? Because by waiting until the future to feel that, we're putting up blockages from experiencing the magic in the moment. How can you allow yourself to feel it right now? I want you to carry this with you throughout your yoga practice today. And instead of waiting to feel something in the future, waiting to be something in the future, how can you embody it in your practice in this moment? Take one more big breath in. And a big breath out. When you're ready, hug both knees into your chest, giving yourself a big squeeze. You can bring your forehead to your knees, hug everything in. And then soften your head, neck, and shoulders down. We'll just start to rock side to side. Maybe draw some circles in the ceiling with your knees, massaging out your low back. Right here, notice what shows up in your body as you start to move. When you're ready, bring your hands behind your head. Squeeze your shoulders behind your back, elbows towards the mat, and we'll rock our legs up. And then over to the right. So big focus here on gluing your shoulders and elbows down towards the mat. If you're like me and have a tight low back, it should feel really lovely. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Let your legs hover towards the ground even deeper. And next time you're on the right, allow your legs to fall to the floor, arms to open out to the teeth, and gaze left or your supine twist. Now, if you want a little more option for eagle legs, that left leg can tuck around the right, twist it out. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Then we'll switch it out. Keep your arms in that T, using your core legs, fall up. 
Gaze falls to the right. Now see if you can scoot that left shoulder out from under you a little more. Option for those eagle legs. Breathe in. And breathe out. Return through center. From here we'll find waterfall, so legs extend straight up to the ceiling. And release, or not release, bring your hands behind your thighs and then soften your shoulders down to the mat. Start by flexing your feet back to your face. It's like you're stomping your feet on the ceiling. This will start to activate our hamstrings. Maybe pull your legs back a little bit more. Breathe in. And then exhale it out. And then one more inhale. And one more exhale. Hug both knees into your chest. And then we'll press up to sit. So find a comfortable seat. From here, right hand grounds into the mat. Left arm reaches up and over. Focus on rotating that left shoulder open. And then from here, left hand comes behind your head. Breathe and squeeze that shoulder back. Exhale, rotate to the right. Left elbow points to the mat. Inhale, twist open. And exhale to rotate. You've got a few more. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist down. Last one, open. Exhale, elbow points down. Release the left hand to the floor. And then press up evenly through both palms. So shoulders are squared off to the mat. Gaze between your thumbs and see if you can twist a little bit deeper. Breathe in. And exhale, let it go. And we'll come through center. From here, hands come behind your head. Squeeze your shoulders back while rotate right. And rotate left. So focus on rotating through your torso here. Try to stay rooted into your mat. Last to each side. You've got this. And the last one. Come through center. Left hand plants down to your left. Right arm reaches up and over. And you can bend that left elbow as much as you like. Focus on finding a link to that right side body. Inhale. Exhale, right hand comes behind your head. As you breathe in, squeeze that shoulder behind your back open. Breathe out, or rotate to your left. Inhale, open. And exhale, rotate. Last two lifts. And rotate. Last one. Rotate it down, right hand plants into the floor. Press up through your left palm gaze between your thumbs. Again, we're really twisting open, so heart is pointing towards the floor. And unwind, come through center. We'll meet in table path. Roll over your knees or send your legs behind you. Now shoulders stack over your wrists, hips over your knees, find that long spine. As you inhale, lower your belly, look to the ceiling. On your exhale, arch your back, chin to chest, press your mat away. Inhale, cow, lower down the thigh. Exhale, round your spine. You've got a few more rounds of your cat and cows just like that. So feel free to add in some extra movements. Maybe you circle it out. Maybe you start to shift it side to side. You can add in a wrist stretch if that's calling you. Maybe you tuck your toes. So how can you cultivate what you're seeking in this moment in your practice? What do you choose to invite in? What do you choose to embody right here, right now? Invite a little more of that in right now. I'm working to connect your movement and your breath. We'll take one more round of breath here. When you're ready, come back through center. As you breathe in, right arm reaches high to the sky. Gaze up to those fingertips and start to circle up that right wrist. You open your shoulder a little more. Then maybe start to circle at your shoulder. You make it a little bigger. Get creative with it. Take what you need. It's one more breath. Right arm reaches high to the sky. Bend your elbow, hand behind your head. I told you got lots of hands behind your head today. Reach that elbow up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rotate right elbow taps inside the left. Inhale up. And exhale to twist. Last two. Lift. Breathe in. Rotate on your breath out. Last one. Inhale. Elbow up. Exhale, rotate. This time it's thread the needle. So right arm reaches under that left side. Right shoulder, right cheek lower to your mat. Now you've got some options. You can stay here. You can reach the left arm overhead, or you can find that left arm behind your back. 
If you do that especially, peel that left shoulder open a little more. Breathe in and let it go. We'll unwind left hand hips, right hand plants, and then we'll switch it out. So root through the right hand as you breathe and elevate the left arm to the sky. Start to circle out that left wrist. Maybe this side shows up a little differently. Maybe circle out that left shoulder now and get creative. You can add in some cactus arms. Make this practice your own. Embody what you choose to embody right now. Inhale that left arm high. Exhale, bend your elbow, hands behind your head. Breathe in. Breathe out, left elbow taps inside the right. Again, inhale up. And exhale to twist. We've got two more. Inhale up. Exhale, rotate. Last one, left elbow to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out, twist. Left arm threads under, thread the needle. Left shoulder, left cheek, ground to the mat. So right hand can stay planted. Again, it can reach overhead or it can bind behind your back. Totally up to you what you take here. Just focus on rotating open so your chest is parallel to the wall across from you. And start to unwind, right hand down, left hand down. From here, we'll meet in puppy pose. So bring your big toes to touch, knees wide, crawl your fingertips forward and drape your chest down to your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out right here. Notice if you're resisting this pose, it can be a little tight, it can be a little tense and uncomfortable. Let go of resistance. Let go of those blockages keeping you from where you want to go. When you're ready, same pose. Bend into your elbows, lower your hips to your mat, tops of feet root into the mat, and then press up through your elbows and open your chest. So shoulders roll back to that proud chest. Right ear towards your right shoulder, add a neck stretch. And left ear to your left shoulder. Come through center, lower all the way down. Hands come behind your head. As you inhale, start to peel your chest up. I think it's like a little baby cobra. You can stay here or find locust pose. Start to lift your legs up. You're rooting through your hip points. Fill your chest up. Legs up. Squeeze those thighs. Breathe and lift a little higher. Breathe out lower. Stack your palms. Forehead on your hands. Bend your knees and legs fall side to side. Windshield wipers. Now send your legs out long. Tuck your toes. Palms under your shoulders, elbows squeeze in, inhale, high plank, strong press up here. Start to pull your core in, breathe in, stay in your breath out. One more strong inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back, heels draw towards the mat, press up your shoulders, so think it's an inverted V-shape, and then we'll start to pedal down, right into the movement. So you can bend into one knee, bend into the other, Let's lower your heels. If you bend your knees, come into a hover tabletop. So again, this is your practice. What do you choose to invite in right here? What do you choose to embody in this pose? How can you make this practice a little more of your own and really connect your intuition with your body? So what is your body asking for? How can you best serve that? Come into stillness. On your next inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, crawl your feet to meet your hands. We'll come into a ragdoll at the top. So bend your knees a ton. Grab all the opposite elbows. So head, neck, and chest hang heavy. We'll sway side to side. Nod your head, yes. Shake it, no. Let something go. Then interlace your hands behind your neck. Slightly different bind. This will be a nice neck release. Way side to side. Release your fingertips to your mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Head is heavy. Focus on drawing your tailbone up towards the sky to bow a little deeper. Inhale, hands to shins. Halfway lift. Find a long spine. Crown of your head. Pull, pulls forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Bow down. Root through your feet to rise. Inhale, Tadasana. Mountain pose. Fingertips reach high to the sky. Tuck your tailbone, roll your shoulders down. Breathe in. Breathe out, side stretch to the right. Grab that left wrist, pull it up and over. Send your hips up. Inhale through center. Exhale, side stretch 
and left, set your hips right. Come through center, breathe in. As you breathe out, hands come behind your head. Now hips stay glued in place. We're rotating to the right and to the left. So hips don't move. If you move your hips, then you're not rotating through your spine, right? You even try it out, you don't feel it. So hips stay glued, and then you just twist through your spine. Last two. Last one each side. Come through center, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, dive down as you breathe in halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to your high pitch, shoulders over wrists, breathe in. Exhale, try to round up, bend your elbows 90 degrees to lower, toss the feet to the mat. Inhale, forward facing dog, open your chest, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, downward dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips to the sky, breathe in right here. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. You can step it up, maybe the same top of that forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out to fold, bow down. Inhale, the last rise tall. This time we'll change it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, open arm, twist to the right. Again, hips stay facing forward. You're just opening your arm. Good, hands to heart center. Inhale, twist open left, look back. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe in, mountain pose, arms towards the sky. Breathe out, forward fold, bow down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, chaturanga, jump back or step it back through your high plank and take your vinyasa. Inhale, forward facing dog. And exhale, look down, your dog hips high to the sky. It's a big breath in and a big breath out. Let something go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top step or hop it up. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out to fold. Inhale, mountain, rise tall. Exhale, hands to heart, same as last time. Inhale, twist straight. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, twist left. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe into Vasana, reach tall. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full chaturanga, jump or step it back. Find your flow your way to downward dog. Now you can always skip these and just press straight back to down dog from your plank. Take what your body's asking for. Right here at the breath in. And a breath out. On your next inhale, float your right leg high. Three-legged dog. So hips are in line, flex that right foot to the mat. Now bend your knee, open your hips, scorpion dog, and find in some movement. So circle it out. Maybe you're circling your hip. Maybe bending and extending that knee. Maybe rolling out your ankle. Feel free to get creative with it. Your next inhale, right leg high. Exhale, cheetah, right knee to nose. Shift forward, chin tucks in. Actually try to put your knee to your nose for four, three, two, and one. Right chin lower straight to the mat. From here, left leg starts to hover, right arm reaches forward. Tuck your tailbone under here, core is engaged, breathe in. Breathe out, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. And exhale, half last two, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, half last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, clap. Now right hand plants. Left leg comes back, pivot on the right knee so toes face behind you, left to lowers. It's a grounded side plank. Left arm reaches to the sky, stack your shoulders. Now left hand comes behind your head, breathe in. Exhale, rotate down, point it down, inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate down. Last two, inhale, lift up. Exhale, rotate, last one, reach up. And rotate down. Left arm to the sky, breathe in. Breathe out right here. Inhale, gate pose, Karyasana, left hand, left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. So really find the length of that right side body. Now right hand comes behind your head, breathe in. Breathe out, rotate it down. Again, inhale. 
And exhale, rotate. You've got two more. Inhale to lift. Exhale, rotate. Last one, reach up. And rotate it down. Reach up, breathe in. Breathe out, grounded side, plank, lower down. All right, root to that right hand, left arm to the sky. Dancing warrior, right leg kicks through. So option one is to plant it, option two is to hover it. Breathe in. Breathe out, left hand plants down, it's half pigeon. Right knee comes behind your right wrist, then tuck those left toes. Now we'll keep this half pigeon active, so walk your hands wide, tent your fingers, breathe in. Breathe out to bow down, see arms are cactus here. Inhale, lift up. And exhale to bow, we've got two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Rise up, breathe in. So you breathe out, plant your hands down, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up, right knee to nose, cheetah. Now it's round your lunge, right foot steps through, left knee lowers. Inhale, low lunge, Anjaneyasana, arms reach up to the sky. And then from here, hands come behind your head. We'll rotate it right, back through center, and rotate it right. So make sure you're squeezing those shoulders in. Last two. And last one. Rotate right, open arm twist here, and look back. Gaze over those right fingertips. Exalted low lunge. Right hand comes toward that back leg. Maybe it's just reaching for it. Maybe it grabs the back of the thigh or calf. Look up to that left hand. Rotate open. Look up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twisted runner's lunge. So left hand comes inside the right foot. Right arm high to the sky. Tuck the left toes with the left knee. Rotate open. Breathe in. Exhale. Chaturanga. Right hand comes down. Send your right leg back. Maybe it hovers for a one-legged flow this time. Inhale up for a dog. And exhale to your strong downward facing dog, hips up and back. Breathe in right here. And breathe out, let it go. Now do that same thing on the left side. So as you breathe in, three legged like dog, left leg lifts. Flex that foot down like you're stomping it behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, and then divide in some movement. Feel free to get creative. The side could show up differently, and that's totally okay. It doesn't need to look the same. And we're trying to force something to be the same as it was on the other side or last time. We're putting ourselves in a box. We're not allowing any space for something to show up that we didn't expect. Right? And same thing when we're expecting future happiness or waiting for something in the future. We're not allowing any space for it to happen now. Next inhale, left leg high. Exhale, she goes left knee to nose. Squeeze it in. We hold for four. Three, two, one. Lower your shin to your mat. Right leg hovers, left arm reaches. Here, breathe in. Breathe out, elbow to knee, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach. And exhale, tap just two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to tap, last one, reach. And tap. Left hand down, right leg back, rotate it open. Ground and side plank right here. Stack your shoulders. Hips are stacked. Now right hand comes behind your head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rotate down. Inhale up. And exhale to rotate. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale. Point your elbow down. Last one. Reach up. And rotate down. And reach it up. Gate pose, right hand to your right leg this time, left arm high to the sky. Find that length, reaching up and over. Now left elbow bends, hands behind your head. Breathe in, and breathe out, rotate down. Again, inhale up, and exhale, rotate. Last two up, and rotate down. That's your last one. Rotate down. Come back through center. From here, left hand comes back to the mat. Right arm reaches to the sky. Root through the right foot, dancing warrior. The left leg kicks through. Again, you can plant that foot or start to hover. Really press those hips up, squeeze your inner thighs. Breathe in. Breathe out for half pigeon. Right hand grounds. Left knee behind your left wrist. Untuck those right toes. Again, we'll keep it active here. 
So walk your hands wide, tent your fingers, breathe in, breathe out to bow. Inhale, lift. And exhale, bow. Last two, lift. Breathe in. Bow, breathe out. Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Peel up, plant your hands, tuck the right toes and lift that knee, left knee to nose. Step through, round your flange. Your right knee lowers to the mount. Untuck your toes, press the top of your foot down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Arms are reaching to the sky. Hips pull in line. Now bring your hands behind your head, squeeze those shoulders, inhale. Exhale, twist it left. Inhale, forward. And exhale, left. You've got that two more times. Moving with your breath. And last one. Twist it left, left arm back. Right arm forward, look back, really open up. Arms are parallel to the wall. Exalted the lunge, left hand towards the back leg. Right arm to the ceiling, look up. Rotate open still. Breathe in, find your balance. Breathe out, twisted runner's lunge. Right hand down, left arm up. Tuck the right toes and elevate that knee. Peel open, stack your shoulders. So straight line, wrist to wrist, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, left hand comes down, left leg flows back, find your foot. And we'll meet back in that strong downward facing dog. Right here, breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Again, inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, cheat out. Hold for four, three, two, and one. This time, runner's lunge, step it through. As you breathe in this high lunge, arms come up to bring your ears. Stay strong and engage the left leg. Now, hands come behind your head. We'll rotate to the right. And back through center. So a little extra balance component here. Take it right. And back through center. Last two. And through center, last one. Come through center, it's warrior two. Open up, the left heel plants down. You have heels arch alignment here. 90 degree bend in that right knee and look over your right shoulder. Soften your shoulders down. Breathe in, peaceful warrior, left hand to your left leg. Right arm floats up and back. What can you embody in this pose? What can you invite in with your inhale? Exhale, back to warrior two. As you inhale, star pose, feet come parallel, straight arms, straight legs. Reach for something, breathe in. Breathe out, a wide leg fold. Embody what you invited in. Little bend into your knees, head is heavy. Pull your tailbone up, roll into the balls of your feet to bow a little bit deeper. And from here, ground to the left hand, right arm high to the sky, and then bend your elbow, right hand behind your head. Release it down. Left hand reaches up. Bend your elbow, left hand behind your head. Release it down. Now ground to the left hand, inhale your right arm high. Bend into your left knee. It's both pose of asana to the top. Left leg kicks between your left hand, right foot. Come to sit. Hands come to heart. Now bring your hands behind your head. Inhale. Exhale, low boat, lower to hover for four, three, two, and one, lower all the way down. Ha. Hug your knees into your chest, big squeeze. Back side to side, inviting a little movement. Then we'll rock and roll to the chair pose. So start to rock and roll the length of your spine. Get a little bit of momentum and you'll root through your heels. Stand up. You can always use your hands to press you up. We'll meet in chair pose, we can toss them out, sit low. Breathe in. And breathe out. Hands come to heart. Ground to the right foot. Left knee comes into your chest. So find your stability, find your balance, and find your breath right here. Now hands come behind your head. Breathe in. On your exhale, airplane pose with your hands behind your head. So kick that left leg back. You're hinging on the right hip, open through your chest. 
squeeze your shoulders. It's like an upward dog in your chest. You're opening up. Remember that locust you took earlier on the bot on the mat? Imagine that, except standing. And really on light. Inhale, high lunge, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga, hands to your mat, and the right leg back, maybe it hovers. Find your flow. We'll meet back in downward facing dog with a breath in. And a breath out. We'll take that on the left side now. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, left knee, no shoot up for four. Hold for three. Just two. And one inhale, left. Breathe out, runner's lunge. The left foot steps between your hands, hips full in line. Root through your feet to rise. Inhale, high lunge. Arms reach high to the sky, hips full in line. Hands come behind your head, breathe in. Breathe out, rotate it left. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate left. Squeeze those inner thighs, last two. And rotate, last one. Rotate left, it's an open arm twist. Left arm back, right arm forward, open up. Left hand to your back leg, exalted warrior. 90 degrees in that left knee. I'll look up to that right hand. Again, we're rotating open. Breathe in. Breathe out, warrior two. Spiral open. Now, right heel plants down. Look forward. Your ground is at the plate edge of the right foot. Left knee points out towards your pinky toe. Inhale, peace forward. Or take it up and back. Left arm reaches high to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out to warrior two as you inhale, star pose, straight arm, straight legs. Reach for something again. What can you embody right now? What are you waiting for? And how can you invite it in in this moment? When you're ready, wide leg fold, cross and breathe in. This time we'll turn heels and toes out and add in some side lunges or skandhasana. So you're bending into one knee and bending into the other. Last two breaths. Come back through center. From here, right hand plants. Inhale to reach the left arm high. Bend into your right knee. Navasana boat pose. Pivot on the left foot. Right foot kicks through. Come to sit. Maybe it's a little easier the second time. Right, this time, hands behind your head. See if you can straighten your legs. Chest forward. Lower to hover. We hold for four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Knees hug into your chest, big squeeze. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine. It's chair pose. You've got it one more time. One more chance to practice it. Stand it up. Sit it low, so strong. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Reveal the left foot, right knee to chest. Ekapada Tadasana, one legged mountain. Hips are in line. Now bring your hands behind your head. Send that right leg back with airplane. Open up through your chest. Stomp your foot back. Right hip curls in line with the left. Open up. You've got it for just one more breath. It's high lunge, land light. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your palms. Take your vinyasa. And we'll be back in downward dog. Find your way to that strong down dog. Find a big breath in and a big breath out. Drop your knees to your mat. It's child's pose. You just got one more short flow each side, and I'll start to slow it down. You're almost there. Maybe in child's pose, take a moment to rock side to side. What's showing up for you? What have you been embodying in your practice this morning? And what would you like to invite in or to release for this final flow? You can make the change right now. You can choose to embody it right now instead of waiting for later. When you're ready, we'll meet back and down our facing dog and set up for that final flow. From here, inhale the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. This time is winch away. We're going to get left to right for four. For three, for two, and one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, our runner's lunge. Now integrate some of the stuff we did in our last two flows. So left knee lowers. 
Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, hands come behind your head, twist to your right. I've got a fun transition for y'all because you know I love fun transitions. From here, we'll come into side angle with hands behind our head. So tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, left heel lowers, your right elbow, right knee, left elbow to the sky, open up, bend into that right knee. Inhale, face forward, take it up and back. Exhale, warrior two. So look forward, root through the right foot, share pose, you could toss in a set the left foot forward, sit low. Now hands come to heart, and we'll rotate right, left elbow hooks. Rotate it left. Come through center, left knee to chest, rise up. This time, hands behind your head, rotate left. It's half moon. See if you can keep your hands behind your head. Challenge yourself. Take it slow. It's no worries to get there. If you need right fingertips, can come down. At least to adjust. So we're stacking that left hip over the right, left shoulder over the right. If you need, play with the covering right hand. Maybe bring your hand back to your head. Ooh, maybe you wobble. It's okay. One more breath. And warrior two, land right. Look forward. Inhale, peace forward, up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, windmill down to the right leg back. It's your final, or second to last flow. And we back and down dog. And down dog, breathe in. Breathe it out. Now let's take that final flow, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, windshield waivers for four, three, two, one, and hello. Exhale, step it through, drop the right knee. Inhale, Anjana Asana, reach up. Exhale, hands behind your head, twist it left. Take okay, one transition time. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, side angle, left elbow, left knee, right heel plants down. Reach that right elbow up to the sky. Inhale, peace forward, warrior, lift it up and back. Exhale, warrior two. Root through that left foot, step forward, chair pose, sit it low. Hand come to heart, and we'll twist right. And twist it left. Come back through center, root through the left foot, right knee to your chest. Hands come behind your head, rotate to your right. It's half moon this side, focus on that balance. So find your breath and find one moving point to look at. Rotate it open. Again, you can always bring your left hand down to the mat or a block if you have one. Find your balance. It's okay to wobble, I'm wobbling too. Right? Your practice is not about being perfect, it's about showing up and it's about finding presence. It's about embodying what you choose to embody, becoming in alignment with that higher and next version of yourself. Warrior two, land light. Look forward. Can we find the joy right here? Inhale, peace forward. And exhale, chaturanga. It is your final vinyasa. Find your way to your downward facing dog. Find your breath. And your next breath in, right leg floats. On your breath out, half pigeon. Ground your right knee behind your right wrist with that left leg back. This time it's a little more passive, so we'll start to bow. So we'll settle in right here. Notice how your breath is showing up in this moment. Can you connect with it a little more? Can you deepen it a little bit more? Can you allow it to soften? Allow your body to settle. The next inhale, start to feel your chest up. We'll find our way out, the right leg back, pedal it out, take some circles, find what you need to in mind. Then we'll switch it, inhale, left leg up. Exhale for half pigeon on this side. Scoot the right leg back. And when you're ready, begin to melt forward. Just make sure both hips are in line, right? Those are pointing straight back from your hip. Inhale, 
If this pose feels a little uncomfortable, notice if you're tensing up. Notice if you're resisting it. Let go of that resistance. Give yourself permission to release it. Can we sit with the discomfort and see what we can learn from it? So often, we're really quick to run from that discomfort. But what if we sit with it? What do we learn? What does it have to teach us? And even in the discomfort, can we find joy? Can we find what we're looking for? When you're ready, start to peel up. And we'll meet back in downward dog. Again, pedal it out, circle it out. Find what you need right here. Child's pose, knees to the mat, tips to your heels, heart to your mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out, let something go. Again, inhale. And exhale. As you breathe in, tabletop, cast it up. Invite in some movement, shift side to side, circle around. So just any differences you feel in your body, in your breath, and in your mind since the beginning of your practice. Come to sit. We'll extend the right leg out long. Left foot comes inside the right thigh. Now we'll add a twist. So right hand comes to your left knee. Left arm reaches up and over. A lot of lefts and right. So hopefully you got that. So we're peeling that left shoulder open. Rotating open. Option for that left hand to come behind your head. Stick with our theme. Inhale, stargazer. Left hand to the mat. Right arm sweeps up and over as you shift into that left shin. Up your hips to your mat and we'll switch it out. Left leg extends, right foot in. Now bring your left hand to the right knee, right arm up and over. Find that side stretch. Rotate open here. The right shoulder stacks over your left. Maybe right hand comes behind your head here. Rotate open a little more. Inhale, star gaze your right hand down. Circle out the left arm up and over. Press your hips open, chest open. Breathe in. Breathe out the lower. And then from here, extend your leg straight in front of you. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. So we're hinging from our hips, long spine, crown of your head, pulls forward. Melt your chest. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower all the way down to your back. So coming all the way down. And then once you get there, Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Let everything settle, let everything integrate. What if everything you're searching for is actually within you? What if you already have everything that you're looking to become? It's just a matter of stepping into it. It's a matter of allowing it to be there. Of letting go of everything you're not in order to become who you're truly meant to be. When you're ready, it's happy baby. Grab your feet. Bring your rib cage with your thighs. Draw your shoulders and tailbone down for a long flat spine. This is our last pose before our Shavasana. Feel free to add in some movements if they're calling you. Or if there's another pose that's really speaking to you, feel free. Again, just noticing any differences since the beginning of your practice. How have you evolved? Take two more breaths. When you're ready, final Shavasana, release your legs out long. Arms to your sides, right hand to your heart, hand to your belly. Find softness and invite in ease. Give yourself these next few minutes for stillness and just for you. How do you choose to show up for them? I will call you out when it's time. Final Shavasana.
Breathe in. Breathe out. If you'd like to stay here longer, feel free to plug the video in or pause it. Otherwise, when you're ready, reach your arms overhead. Find a good morning stretch. Start to roll out your wrists and ankles. Create some movement in. And have both knees in and make your way onto one side for fetal position. Just allow yourself a moment to return to your body and to your breath. Honor your practice and show yourself some love and gratitude. We're always seeking that next thing, thinking it will bring us happiness, joy, peace, whatever it is we're seeking, but it will never be where we are. How can we invite it in, in the here and now, while still pursuing our goals, our dreams? All we ever really have is the here and now. Maybe it's more about the journey than it is about the destination anyway. When you're ready, press up to a comfortable seat. With your eyes still closed, bring both hands to meet at heart center and soften your shoulders. We'll take one more breath together. Inhale, fill up, biggest one yet. Exhale it out. Bring your thumbs to meet at third eye center, the space between your brows. The light and the love in me sees and honors and so much appreciates that same light and love in you. Namaste. I have a baby join just for the ending. <laughs> Thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon.